Charlotte Works is the Workforce Development Board serving Mecklenburg County and your source for the latest labor market news. Let's take a look at the manufacturing industry in the Charlotte area, starting with where are the jobs located? So you can see from the map on the screen, there's a particularly high concentration of manufacturing jobs in the southwestern portion of Mecklenburg County and even throughout the, the western part of Mecklenburg County up into northern Mecklenburg County with 28273 and 28278 down in that Pineville Steel Creek area as our top zip codes. If we look at the summary of this industry, we can see we are just at or below the national average for earnings per job and monthly job postings. In terms of employment, you can see we're below the national average with just over 35,000 people employed in this industry. Just under right around the national average in terms of earnings per job with an average earnings of 105,000 a year. And just over the national average with over 1,600 monthly job postings in this industry. When we look at the growth of this industry over time and as compared to the national average, we can see Mecklenburg County is below the national average for manufacturing, just a little bit above half of the national average with 35,000 individuals employed here as compared to that 60,000 national average. But again, we did see 7% growth over the past five years, although that growth is expected to slow with only 2% growth expected in the next five years. In terms of retirement risk here locally, it's, it's about average. Just over 9,000 individuals age 55 and up are employed in this industry. And in terms of racial diversity, it's above average with over 15,000 racially diverse individuals employed in this industry. Gender diversity right around the national average with over 10,000 women employed in this industry. And if we look at the unemployment trends here, again, you see a large impact of the pandemic on this industry that has largely subsided coming into 2022. We are really pretty well back to pre-pandemic levels of unemployment in this industry. Looking at the breakdown of this industry by age, you can see, again, a the largest age demographic is that 45 to 54 demographic for this industry. Looking at it by race ethnicity, we see over 58% of the employees are white, 24% are black, again, below our, our baseline population for 32, 33% in Mecklenburg County. 9% are Hispanic or Latino, just below our 11 to 13% Mecklenburg County average. And 6%, 6.5% are Asian, so right around the baseline statistics for Mecklenburg County. In terms of gender diversity, this is a predominantly male industry with over 70% of employees being male. And if we look at the top occupations, you can see most of the occupations or just under half are production occupations working in manufacturing. Then we've got transportation and material moving, followed by office and administrative support, as well as management occupations. We look at the top companies here and the top job titles you'll find on job postings. We see Honeywell, Campbell Soup, the Coca-Cola Company, Simmons and Train as our top employers here locally. And the top job titles, material handlers, general utilities, forklift operators, maintenance technicians, and field service technicians. We look at the industry gain and drain. You can see one of the largest sub-industries here is pharmaceutical preparation manufacturing. So again, that medical-focused manufacturing. You can see a number of individuals come from the colleges and universities industry. And that is a top exit industry, but even above that, we see movement into research and development in biotechnology, which again makes sense given the focus on pharmaceutical manufacturing, medical manufacturing here locally. And you see that really hold true throughout a lot of these sub-industries when we look at industry exit paths for individuals in manufacturing. And if we look at the top skills in demand for this industry, the top skill in demand has consistently been marketing over the past year. That is a top skill here and followed by finance. So again, you see a lot of transferability of these skills across multiple different industries. Then you see warehousing, supply chain, SAP. So more industry specific skills. 
But if we look at the overall contribution of this industry to our local economy, we see it, it, it's a strong contributor contributor to our economy with uh, over 8 billion in gross regional product and 4 billion of which is local earnings. And so you can see the growth here since 2020, that industry has grown by over 2 billion. So some strong growth here recently in this industry. For more information or for assistance as a business or a job seeker, visit charlotteworks.com.